Aries. Welcome to your weekly love reading for August 15th to the 21st for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those who have been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing the pre-shuffle sessions. Um, just to, you know, save time for myself uh, to get more content out and hopefully to cut the videos down shorter. Although they haven't exactly been shorter. So <laughs> anyway, um, Aries, let's get into your meditative session that I did. Okay. For those who are new, uh, meditative sessions that I do on the energy is energy that is in or around you. So keep in mind, this energy can pertain to you directly or someone that you're connected with. Aries, you're feeling very passionate about something. And it's funny because the last reading, it was very like sexy and sensual. And there was still a little bit of that, like, um, time crunch pressure energy and I'm still feeling that a little bit here with you guys but I feel like you're fired up I feel like you've had enough of a situation I feel like the frustration has gotten to you you're very agitated I'm feeling a lot of agitation with that and I was getting this energy of like leading with your head I know how that sounds but that's what they were telling me like leading with your head and I could feel it like a forward push with your head you could be combating someone head on you can be combating um something head on within yourself like an your own issue that you're dealing with um some of you are some of you are it is something that you're dealing with on your own something about yourself your own life but others I feel like a little bit of a confrontation Aries a little bit of like a defense standing up for yourself or standing up for someone some of you are standing up for someone else others of you are standing up for yourself it does feel in the name of a of justice in the name of justice like i've had enough this is this is irritating enough is enough i'm speaking my truth i'm standing up and i'm not taking this shit anymore you know <laughs> or if you're protecting someone i feel like some of you are definitely protecting someone or standing up for someone because i get a little bit of gossipy with that like You've just heard enough of shit talk like either you've heard enough of this person talk shit to you or you've heard enough of someone talking shit about someone you care about or someone that you respect and you're just like <laughs> enough <laughs> i've had it um there's also this energy of, of of time though um i know it's gonna sound really strange but they oh god i know this is a reference to something and i'm a little embarrassed that i don't know what it's in reference to because i know it is around the world in seven days i don't know what that's what that is encompassing but there's this this energy of time is of the essence time is of the essence and i think that's also why you're acting you're taking action aries you're definitely being very proactive when whatever the situation is for you yeah it's like time is of the essence and i feel this energy of cyclical shit like how many times i have to talk about this how many times i have to get taken through this how many more times i just need it to stop i just need this shit to stop um yeah, Aries, you've had enough about something or someone, and I do feel like for some of you, it's around shit talking. Some of you, it's definitely around shit talking, and others, it's like you, you, you just need to like just speak your truth. You just need to speak your truth. You've just you're very passionate about it, and you need to be heard. Is also what I'm getting for some of you. You definitely feel like you need to be heard. Something's coming out, Aries. Something's definitely coming out. Um, why they bring me back to around the world in seven days? Aries, for some of you. Whatever this taking a stance is, taking charge is, I feel like for some of you, not all of you, it's going to spark a very quick progression of something, almost like a quick progression of going through steps. Like, let's say, you're, you you know, you have a project, right? You have step one, step two, step three, all the way to step like 10. Let's say 10. Normally you take, let's just say a month for each step. I almost have this energy of like, you're doing all the steps in a month. Oh, Aries. Aries, some of you might be taking charge towards someone to get into a relationship and you guys might go too fast. Or is it, hmm, you guys might go too fast according to some other's standards. Every relationship is different. I'm not telling you what's too fast and not too fast because you're, you're your own person, your own life. Y'all do what you want to do, right? Everyone's different. Every relationship is different. Who am I to say? A certain time period is too fast for you and your person right but i definitely have that energy and someone could be heading your way aries to jump into something and if you do it could take off very quickly okay well let's go ahead and take a peek anybody who has any questions curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer go ahead and check out the link below i do, and i do mean if you have questions please click on it now because it will most likely be answered and it will just make the reading more enjoyable for you okay Yes, it can be vice versa. And yes, it can apply to more than just more than just love, as we already uh, stated pretty much in the meditative session. Okay. 
Any messages for Aries? Regarding love? Any messages for Aries regarding love? August 15th to the 21st. Aries, you're making my card stubborn. <laughs> I don't know why, but you're making my cards stubborn. They're sticking in this deck number six. It's still fairly new. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Aries, stop messing with my cards. I don't like that. I don't like sticky cards. Any messages for Aries? Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Okay. Any messages for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st? Let's see here. Got a few peekers. Oh, quite a few peekers. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Jesus. Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, Aries energy could also be fire or water. And then we have Judgment judgment fire energy also scorpionic energy for me as a reader this knight of swords in reverse definitely speaks of drama to me past drama past fighting um oh i'm almost gonna like not thought out like communication that wasn't really thought out so well and with judgment being on the other end of this this definitely feels like an energy of needing to fix needing to make amends needing to write this kind of energy combat this kind of energy yeah aries i feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's been very emotionally detached with you very emotionally detached with you or very emotionally manipulative manipulative and you've just had it queen of wands in reverse you're just you're irritated you're irritated you're frustrated it's like enough <laughs> fucking enough enough <laughs> enough i'm done i've had it i don't need to be doing this shit anymore except except aries some of you are demanding that someone accept something about you or about a situation again i'm getting that very commanding aggressive like you're gonna listen to me because i need i need to be heard i need to be heard any other messages for aries yeah aries i feel like i feel like you've, you've had conversations with someone or even like a past fight with someone where it's just like there was no listening like there was no listening it's like you felt like they weren't listening to you like they didn't really care about what you had to say they took the emotions out of it too it's like oh they took the humanity out of it. I feel like I felt that with that with another sign a couple months ago. They took the humanity out of the conversation. So I mean, and keep in mind, this could all be vice versa, but it's like you kind of felt like they weren't even talking to you like a human being. Like they were just like talking at you. Thank you. Talking at you. Talking at you. Feels very panicky though. Feels like that kind of communication was coming from panic. Um, like almost word vomiting. And it's like you, you, you've just, you've had it. You're tired of this situation. Some of you have been experiencing this over and over and over. Others, I feel like you've been simmering with it. You've been sitting with it, simmering with it. And you're just like, nope, I gotta say it. I gotta say it now. I gotta say it now. But judgment tells me that this is actually coming together and that there will be some resolution here. So let's see what else we have. But I do feel like it's because you're taking a stand and you're being aggressive about it. And not in a bad way. Aggression is not a bad thing. It's just how you come across in your aggressive way, right? Any other messages for Aries? Any other messages for Aries? I feel like some of you feel like you've been getting nagged at too. Oh, yeah. Some of you feel like you've been getting nagged at. And you've just been taking it swallowing it probably at work <laughs> probably at work or a family member swallowing it swallowing it and you're just like fuck this <laughs> like you just had it any messages for aries and good for you you should stand up for yourself all right oh and as i say that seven of wands leo energy standing up for yourself and high priestess in reverse piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader and like i said i definitely feel this energy of some of you are protecting someone like some of you you've been hearing a lot of shit about other people or another person in particular and you just had it it's just like do we have to keep talking about this person they're not even here like do we have to keep talking about them overall energy we do have nine of cups piscean energy wish fulfillment and emotional fulfillment at that a lot of happiness coming your way aries once you deal with this situation this issue this person this gossip um i definitely don't feel like it's an issue within yourself if it's something going on within yourself it's something you've just been frustrated with about yourself like a little habit um or something about the way you communicate and you're, you're dealing with it you're dealing with it but i love this energy 
of the Seven of Wands and High Priestess in Reverse. High Priestess in Reverse, it's all, again, I'm getting that like standing up for justice, standing up for truth. High Priestess in Reverse, that's, that's truth coming out, secrets being revealed, right? Having all secrets out on the table. No secrets left unturned. <laughs> that's a funny way to say that. No secrets left unturned. But standing up for what's right. Standing up for what's right, standing up for the truth, and that's going to make you happy. It's going to relieve such a huge burden for you, Aries, once you deal with this. But I do feel like it's requiring you to be very alpha, almost very masculine, even if you're a female, and just being very head on with it. Even if you have to go head to head with somebody to prove your point, you will be heard, Aries. Like, oh, focus. Like, that's the point of this. Like, you're going to hear me and that's going to be it. I'm not going to take this shit anymore. I'm not going to be talking to a brick wall anymore. I'm going to make sure you hear me, damn it. It's like, it's very, very assertive. I actually really like it, Aries. I got to be honest. I actually really like it. Um, but let's look at the Knight of Swords in reverse where this, for some, it's been repetitive communication like this, where you've been dealing with someone who's very emotionally detached or emotionally, man emotionally manipulative or talking shit about other people, taking the humanity out of how they speak to you, speaking at you. Let's go ahead and take a look at this because for some, it was just one fight. Others, it, I definitely feel like it's repetitive. Uh, so using steampunk as the primary. <laughs> Aries, they want me to tell you, you will have victory in whatever it is you're seeking as your victory. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse, which I really feel like is just wanting to be heard. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse. For Aries, regarding love. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse for Aries regarding love. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. I feel like I'm picking up on another storyline here. Hold on a second. I'm definitely picking up on something. Aries, I am picking up on a romantic situation where it feels a little third party-ish. And I don't feel like third party in the way of like cheating. I don't think that. I almost feel like I'm picking up on a situation where there's a committed couple, a committed couple in some capacity, um, where one has like lost all emotion and love in the situation for the other person. And the other person has been very controlling, manipulative, and domineering, but also very kind of false and not really authentic. So you have one person who's just tired of it. They don't really care about the situation anymore, but they're just sticking around. And the other person is very, is very, very manipulative and very domineering. And I almost like trying to hold on to the other person. If, if that makes sorry, if that makes any sense, I'm like I'm just trying to hold on to this. So essentially, you have a very unhappy couple. This is just what I'm picking up on for maybe a couple of you before we go into this even further. Um, yeah, I'm picking up on a couple, committed. One has lost all love in the situation. They don't really care. They're actually quite bored. The other one is irritated all the time, trying to manipulate this person all the time, trying to be domineering with this person all the time. But I feel like this person, while the emotion has run out for this Queen of Wands, kind of has someone else on their mind. And this fighting is leading to something that needs to happen, leading to a judgment call. And then Seven of Wands and High Priestess in Reverse, I feel like the secret that's going to come out is like, you know, Queen of Wands, I don't really care about you. There's someone else I care about, and it's not you. And that's the secret coming out and someone standing in their in their truth, and that's Seven of Wands energy, leading to emotional fulfillment. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the Knight of Swords in Reverse. Like I said, there's only a couple of you, and, you know... Given where there, there's an energy of, you know, caring about someone else and that truth is coming out, Aries, you could be any of these three people if you're in that scenario, okay? Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about this Knight of Swords in Reverse. Tell me about this communication or terrible communication, inhumane communication. Tell me about Knight of Swords in Reverse for Aries. Wow. Oh, God. Two of Wands in reverse Aries energy. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a lot of back and forth energy. Yeah, for some of you, this is very repetitive, very repetitive issue. And you're just sick of it. You're sick of it. I also have this energy of like, for a while, Aries, you didn't really know what to do about it. 
probably because you felt like you had to take it. I have, I have the energy and I feel like that's got to be happening with a family member or at work. Where you're just like, I just got to eat this shit. I don't want to eat this shit, but I got to eat this shit. Because this energy is like, I don't know what to do about this until you finally just blow up and it's like, you know what? I just got to take charge. I got to take charge and do what's best for me, which is exactly, I think, what you need to do, Aries. That's very healthy. Well, maybe not exploding, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords in reverse. Definitely getting that energy for that couple, too, that I was picking up on. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Tell me about Nine of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> ace of pentacles in reverse and then we have the three of pentacles capricorn energy yes yeah, so this is what's clarifying the knight of swords in reverse energy the inhumane communication or the fight that you might have had with someone in the past that two wands in reverse energy is like i don't know what to do i feel like i have to take this shit i don't want to take this shit ace of pentacles in reverse is there's more and more instability creeping in the more you're having to just take this kind of shit aries and three of pentacles is wanting to do something about it like formulating a plan of what to do some of you are actually taking the, like, strategizing a plan to aggressively combat this situation, which I find very interesting as opposed to blowing up, which is healthier than exploding by, all, by any means. And where, like, I was picking up on that third party situation with that couple. Yeah, I feel like this King of Cups in reverse feels like they missed it on an opportunity with someone. Feels like they kind of got stuck in this situation. Really wasn't sure, like, this, this King of Cups has, like, not really known what to do about this, but that Three of Pentacles indicates to me they definitely have someone else on their mind that they want to be building with. Let's see what else we got here. So I'm about the Nine of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love. August 15th to the 21st. <laughs> you see, you'll see. So I'm about Nine of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love. Wow. Last two clarifying energies, the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy, with the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, how do I find my way out of this shit? How do I get to feeling free and not having this burden on me of having to eat this shit, eat these people's words, um, having to hear this gossip and this bullshit in my ear? Like, how do I get out of this? Seven of Cups is trying to figure out a way. Looking at options, also being emotionally overwhelmed as well. It's like, it just has been a slow little ticking time bomb for you, Aries, and you've just fucking had it. You've had it. Because you know you can have happiness. You know you can be free of this. It's just a matter of trying to figure out how. It's a matter of trying to figure out how, okay? And with this King of Cups, who's been losing um, emotion for this situation, for that those in that couple third party scenario, it's looking at options. Quite literally, looking at options because this King of Cups is not happy not happy overall energy for not of swords in reverse we have the full in reverse aries energy could also be aquarius because it's a uranus card jump ship it's actually what i just got jump ship yeah for aries some of you will explode some of you will explode others of you are formulating a plan to combat this issue to confront this issue and be very aggressive about it and those in that uh third party situation this king's ready to jump <laughs> this king's ready to just jump ship they're about to explode as well wow all right so let's keep this moving so we already went over these energies, so I won't go over them even more. But these, this is basically that couple in that third party situation. And Aries, this is you, mad as hell, dealing with someone who's been very inhumane in their speech, inhumane in their words and how they speak to you, very emotionally detached or very emotionally manipulative. Um, so keep in mind that we do have a, quite a few scenarios going on here. So just take what resonates for your situation. And then we get this energy. We get judgment with seven of wands and high priestess in reverse judgment tells me that all of this is basically happening for a reason and there will be resolution things will be balanced out things will be balanced out here and it will be handled because it it will it needs to be it needs to be aries you need to be fucking heard it's like sorry i'm like i'm feeling your agitation with this um there's no way you're not going to be left unheard anymore <laughs> does that sound like proper english there's no way you're going to continue to be like dismissed thank you the, uh there's no way you're going to be continued to be dismissed there's no way you're going to take this shit of having to hear someone nag at you hear someone talk shit about you know you or someone else or having to hear this gossipy low vibrational bullshit you're just no no i, I i'm i need to be happy <laughs> i need to be happy you've already decided 
So let's go ahead and look at the Seven of Wands of the High Priestess in Reverse. So curious about this High Priestess in Reverse energy. So let's take a look at that. Um, what deck do I want to use? Rider. Let's use Rider. Talking about High Priestess in Reverse. For Aries. Yeah, totally taking a stand, Aries. Like, you're really spilling a lot of tea, is what I'm getting. Some of you have been irritated for so long, especially in that gossipy scenario where you're standing up for someone or even just yourself, um, where you're just like, this is the truth. This is what's really going on. Stop talking your shit. It's like, I can feel it, Aries. I love that kind of energy from you guys. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. Some I definitely feel like this is regarding a business deal. What is this about? Aries, some of you have been in the midst of a business deal. I don't know what that's about, but you've been biting your tongue because you know it's a deal that could really work out for you. But I think you're getting to the point where it's like, do I really want to be part of this if I won't be respected? It's a good question, Aries. So I have a high priestess in reverse. For Aries, regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. You know, Aries... Those in that business deal that I just picked up on, because I feel like that's only for a couple of you. Oh, no, more than a couple. Quite a quite a couple hand, handfuls, actually, is what I'm getting. Um, I think a really great approach to this, it's just my opinion. You don't have to take my advice. Please, you know, it's your own life. Make your own decisions. You're the masters of your own life. It's just my opinion. Um, I think a really good point to make with these people, if they continue to disrespect you like this, to be like, is there really a business deal if I'm not part of this equation? You know what I mean? Like reminding them your value of it. I feel like you're a big part of this business deal. Like without you, there really is no business deal, but they're not acting that way. They're not acting that way. It's almost like they're acting a little bit more superior than you or like they know more than you. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, if I bounce, then what do you, what are you left with? They're not left with a whole lot, right? So keep that in mind, Aries. Um, actually, I need a bit of water. Give me a second. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, High Priestess in Reverse. Something about High Priestess in Reverse for Aries. Regarding love. I just got a very specific date, July 21st. I don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's about, because that's a past date. Pending, or is it not? No, I feel like it's about the past. Um, that's gotta be for like a couple of you. So I have a high priestess in reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Oh, that's funny. We're doing this timeline to the 21st, but they showed me July 21st. So something that about a month ago, something about a month ago or the last month, probably in the last month since, since you're watching this a month from a month back from to, from the day you watched this. Jesus. Okay. Talking about High Priestess in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. <clears throat> Talking about High Priestess in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Talking about High Priestess in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Talking about High Priestess in Reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Wow, Six of Pentacles in Reverse, uh, Taurian Energy. It's funny because this is the minor to the major justice card. And what did I say? Standing up in truth against an injustice. For justice. Yeah, it's being revealed that something's been really unfair. Something's been really unfair. Someone's made some really shitty judgment calls, I believe, on someone, whether it's you or someone that you are protecting, Aries. But someone's been really unfair. I'm also getting greedy. Greedy. Someone's been very greedy. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, you're not going to treat me like this anymore. That's what some of you are saying. It's like, I deserve a hell of a lot better, and you're either going to deliver or there's the fucking door. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, Aries, if you feel like you've been giving a lot to someone, you know, like a character like this, and they've just been giving you shit back, either being emotionally detached or speaking to you very inhumanely, or they just don't really have a whole lot of love for you anymore. Um, yeah, it's, it's time to get really serious to be like, look, 
I know what I deserve. And why should I give you any more of myself or my energy if you can't reciprocate that or if you can't respect me or my energy? Why should I? Why? And yeah, exactly. Why should you? Why should you? Tell you about High Priestess in reverse. Tell you about High Priestess in reverse for Aries regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Don't get quiet on me, Aries. Come on. I feel like spirit's being vague here intentionally. Tell you about High Priestess in reverse for Aries. <sighs> yeah, it's that damn King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. It's really unfair to treat me like this. It's really unfair to speak to me so inhumanely. It's really unfair that this King of Cups is no longer having emotion in the situation and their mind and heart basically lies elsewhere while this queen is like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, it's kind of a shitty situation no matter which one you're in as far as like having to deal with this kind of a person. And for those in that scenario where you're, you know, part of a couple and like, you know, this king is like has their heart basically with someone else and they're in this Queen of Wands is like, you know, getting upset and trying to control the situation. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair. This king needs to get right. This king needs to get right in their behavior. Um, and if their heart's not in a, in a situation, if their heart's not in a relationship, they need to go and get out of that relationship, right? I mean, that just goes without saying. And for those where you're dealing with someone who's just really awful in the way they speak to you, very disrespectful, emotionally manipulative, or emotionally detached, yeah, you're calling them out, essentially. You're calling them out. You're calling them out. Talk about High Priestess in reverse. For Aries, oh, we got an Emperor, Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. I feel like this King of Cups is the Emperor here. You know, it's, wow, I'm feeling a lot of that manipulate, that emotional manipulation I was picking up on for some of you. Feeling it really strong here. Really strong here. Some of you, this confrontation might get really intense. I'm not going to lie, Aries. I'm not going to lie. Because I feel a major calling out of that. And I feel like with this emperor, whoever they are in your life, Aries, specifically those where they, they're a little more manipulative, like emotionally manipulative, they're manipulative like that because they have their own insecurities and shit. They have their own wounding. That goes without saying, right? But they never look at themselves. They never look at, at the, themselves as the culprit. And they need to. And you're making sure they know that. <laughs> You're making sure they know that. It's like, oh, you want to treat me like shit? You want to treat me like shit? You want to try to manipulate manipulate me? Maybe you're trying to manipulate me because you're so terrified that no one will actually be there for you. Because maybe you're terrified no one will actually be there to support you. Some of you are seriously getting like heavy deep with this person in a very aggressive way. But I think it is teaching this emperor a lesson. A lesson they need. Tell me about High Priestess in reverse. For Aries. Regarding love, August 15th to the 21st. Oh, got one other card out here. <laughs> Three of Wands, waiting for ships to come in, waiting for the next thing. Like I said, for some, when you're in this couple situation, their heart lies elsewhere. Their heart's not in this. Their heart's not in this committed relationship. They're looking elsewhere for those in that situation. Um... Also, where you're dealing with someone who's just, if you're in that other group where you're dealing with someone who's emotionally manipulative, inhumane in the way they speak, there's this energy of, I can control people to do what I need them to do. Like, a, a sense of expectation of whatever I need to happen, I can make happen through manipulation and control and speaking in a certain manner. Yeah, I like, that's the very manipulative energy that I was picking up on. Very high sense of expectation for themselves. Very high sense of expectations for themselves. Um, Aries, some of you, interesting. Some of you might be standing up to this person um, for someone else. Like, again, that energy of, like, protecting someone else. And once you do that, I feel like once you stand up to this person, and again, it could be all vice versa, stand up for whatever it is you're trying to stand up for against this emperor, I feel like you're actually going to go and seek out that person or go to that person you were standing up for. I feel this energy of distance with that with that little story that I'm picking up on, that energy I'm picking up on. Yeah, Aries, if you're standing up for someone else, you're protecting them, I don't think they're in the vicinity. I don't think they're close to you. I think they're kind of far, and I do feel like it's geographical. That's a very specific scenario I'm picking up on, and I feel like you're actually going to go to them at once you do this. That's interesting. Overall energy, we do have the Hermit, Virgo energy. This is Enlightenment. 
enlightenment, finding the answers from within. Yeah, Aries, finding the answers from within so you can actually release all the secrets. Finding out what the truth really is, just to basically speak the truth. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you guys. Where's my spirit animal deck? Oh, there it is. It's like it grew legs and ran away from me. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's see what this deck has to say. Aries, this was intense. I like it though. I really like it. Because remember, no matter what, this is all about your emotional fulfillment and your happiness and your wish fulfillment, your joy, your joy. Yeah, you don't got to take people's shit. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. You do not. Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries? <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> mm. Picking up on something really specific, especially those in the work scenario. I feel like I'm picking up on this has to be for like one person. Oh, God damn it. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, this has to be one for one person that I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on someone who basically works in an office, but like you, it's very expanded. So there are multiple locations in your in your country or even international. I feel like it's actually international, to be honest with you. I feel like it's an international company. You've been hearing. I feel like it's your supervisor. Or coworker, supervisor. No, I feel like it's your supervisor. I feel like you work for you work under someone who definitely is not as competent as you, and someone who talks a lot of shit and likes to point the finger at other people. There's one person in particular they keep pointing the finger at, and you're you've been getting increasingly irritated because you know that person is very competent and works very hard. But because I feel like they're in, the, in another office, I feel like they're not in your office location or something. Almost feels like they might even be in another country off country office, like another location in another country for the same company but you know this person's very competent and it's been getting you really agitated because you feel like this person's been misjudged unfairly by other people based off what your supervisor is saying or the person you answer to based off what they're saying and you're standing up to this person interesting i like it that's definitely gonna be for like one person any advice for aries paris Paris, Paris, New York, Paris and New York. I just got Paris and New York for that. All right. Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? God, these cards want to talk. I can feel it. Hold on. Don't give me too many now. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries? Oh, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. 18 breaking down to a nine. I feel like whoever, if you guys are protecting someone from gossip or standing up for someone, I feel like you see them as this kind of energy, as someone who's very pure, who's very sincere, very genuine, and also very kind hearted. Whoever it is that you're protecting. Yeah, I definitely feel very strongly about that one. If you're standing up for someone and protecting someone, like a very precious energy, almost like an energy of like, why would you ever pick on that person? You know, <laughs> you know, it, like that's kind of how it feels like this person. So, I mean, I don't even want to say innocent because that like kind of paints them as like a very like inexperienced person. I think this person's very experienced. I think this person's very wise, um, but they're just so they just mean well like they're just a good person they're just a good genuine person you don't come across that very often always means well by others and you want to protect this energy for those who are protecting someone <clears throat> i also feel like this is about your communication aries it's funny because you're not being gentle and i think spirit's actually saying don't be this gentle don't handle this person with kid gloves whoever it is you're standing up against they're not a child they know what they're doing they know what they've done it's time to really be aggressive in this and don't be soft don't be soft when you confront this person is actually what i think is coming out for why that's coming out i do feel a sense aries that some of you have been a victim in this i'm getting a little bit of victimization here but in the true sense of what a victim is like mm, oh aries aries i feel like that's actually for um 
the person who might be in a committed relationship and I think your partner has someone else on their mind. You feel a little bit like a victim. Like, I did everything right. Why did this happen? Damn, Aries, if you're in that situation where you are with someone and you know that their mind is elsewhere, um, that sense of, of being a victim, I totally understand. I totally understand. And it's not about you. It's not about you. Um, and I know it's hard to accept that sometimes, but all anyone, okay, anything anyone ever does to us or just in general has nothing to do with us. Like absolutely nothing to do with us. Uh, has everything to do with them. And if this person has lost emotion for you, you don't have to you don't have to play the victim. I'll say it that way. You don't have to play the victim role just because you technically are the victim in the situation. Just take action to leave. Take action to leave. You don't need to waste any more time with someone who doesn't have emotion for you, you know? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? And, ooh. Oh, very nice. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. Change and transformation. The change that you are causing here, Aries, by standing up to this person is amazing. I feel like this, this energy is really just saying how much love you have for yourself in this situation to stand up against a person like this right to basically tell spill the tea to this person and not handle them with kid can't pick this card up and not handle them with kid gloves right yeah i also feel that energy for the person you're protecting for those who are protecting someone you got a lot of love for them you know aries you might even just saying you might even secretly you know want a little something more with them and i think that's why you're coming you're going to such protective mode for the again for those who are protecting this person yeah i aries again this could all be vice versa but i feel like you got a little crush on this person oh they're telling me it's more than a crush oh that's cute i love that that's so cute Let's see what else we got out here and you know i'm also guys just as a reminder if you are leaving a situation especially if you know that the person you're with has no more love for you or emotion for you and they're thinking about someone else the second you close that door and <coughs> Mm. Hold on. Mm. Ah. The second you close that door and deal with your hurt and wounding from that and release that and move forward, a new person is going to come flying in. Flying in. That's usually how it works. That's usually how things tend to go. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? If that's what you want. If that's what you want. Any other advice for Aries regarding this spread? Nope. Oh, yeah. Overall, Aries, look at that. Snake spirit. Time to heal. 55. Again, more change and transformation. 5, 55. Very indicative of a tower moment, but I feel like this tower moment is basically at your disposal. Like, you're causing this tower moment by confronting this person. By confronting this person being like, this shit ain't fair. This shit ain't fair, and you're going to hear me out because I'm sick of this. Because I'm sick of this shit. And it is going to be a little painful for you, Aries, but it is a, a time for healing for yourself, okay? Um, and, like, even then, like, healing doesn't always have to be painful. Because this is such confidence, Aries, that you're carrying. Um, that, in a way, it's, like, it's making you grow. And because of that, technically, it's healing. But it doesn't feel that painful for, for some of you. Some of you, it's not that painful. I feel like the only ones who are really experiencing pain with this are those in that situation where you have to end a relationship because someone doesn't have love for you anymore. You know? Yeah. Either way, it's getting a situation righted. That's why judgment's here. Because this, this bullshit... I could pick up these cards. Because this bullshit cannot go on much longer. It can't. It can't. It, it can't. <laughs> just can't that's why there's resolution here that's why there's resolution and it will heal the situation um in the sense of balancing things out for the right balancing things out for the better okay aries i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later namaste aries bye